Dane Simmons here with Side Shot uh, Saber Tactical as well. I'm gonna go ahead and go over how to set up this Side Shot system on your scope. This is the GoPro Hero 10. Now we're doing 11s. Pretty much every year when one comes out, we go to the next the next GoPro up and discontinue the previous one. Um, couple things gonna go over with you. I'm gonna go over how to mount the scope ring to the scope. Now, what you're looking for, a lot of guys, I mean, this is very simple, but a lot of guys ask, what ring do I get? Right, we have three different sizes. We have a one inch, a 30 millimeter, which is what this is, and a 34 millimeter. And what we're talking about is this diameter right here on your scope. So the tube housing, that's the diameter we're talking about. So you can actually Google your scope and it will tell you what the tube diameter is. Okay, so this 30 millimeter is gonna fit on this. And we, we can also do, you know, a 35 or a 36 by boring this out a little bit for, you know, specialty scopes or ones that are not quite as common as the three, three normal ones. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to mount this. I'm gonna show you how to level out the GoPro system. First off, we're gonna take our ring, our scope clamp right here. And you're gonna see right here, this is called a stabilizing bar. This is for the phone system, for the side shot phone system. For the GoPro, you only need the, the ring, okay? And you're gonna need a three millimeter Allen head. So we'll just pop this off here. Now, you can pretty much mount it however you want on the scope. I like these parts that protrude facing the rear. So I just slide it on like this. And you're gonna need about a half inch of space here on the back of your scope to be able to mount a ring to it. So I'll go ahead and mount this for you really quick. And we're just gonna do it loose, nothing too tight, because the first thing we wanna do is we want to level off the crosshairs. So I'll show you how to do that. So. We're gonna take this GoPro. Now, just a couple things I wanna go over with this GoPro. You'll notice it has a lens here that is not the stock lens. This GoPro is not a stock GoPro. It's actually modified by a company. They completely disassemble it. They put it back together. They put an aluminum housing here so that you can mount different lens, lenses to it. It comes, the GoPro itself, a stock GoPro, comes with a wide angle lens. It's not the best for looking through scopes. So we have a 12 millimeter lens on here that will actually allow us to focus on the crosshairs. That way we can use our parallax and it will adjust the focus in the GoPro, right? So that's that's our objective here. Now, there is a locking ring <clears throat> on this GoPro right there. And you can just twist this and unlock it and use like a small Allen wrench to, you know, adjust it there. We're gonna, I'm gonna talk about adjusting this to focus on your crosshair. But first of all, we're gonna take and turn on the GoPro. So press this button here. Your GoPro system has a lock right there. So you actually press that down and lift up right here to open it up. And then this is gonna slide in. First thing you wanna do is just make sure that your crosshairs, as you look right there, are level. So we don't want them slanted up. We want those crosshairs level and you just, you, you do that by just moving this up and down, right? So once you got it level to the point you want, you'll go ahead and tighten down these screws Nothing too tight, right? Let's double check that. Looks good from this angle. Just snug. You don't want to over tighten them and strip them out, you know, but you don't want it to move on you either. Okay, so that's tight. It's ready to roll. Now you can slide this off. You can take multiple rings and put them on different scopes and then use this on different scopes as well, right? And then the settings, if you go right down here, right now it's on 4K. If you want to change this to slow motion, you just click right there and we've got it set up for 2.7K at 240 frames per second. That's the slow motion setting. You'll hit that. Now you're on a slow motion. So that's going to allow you to film in slow motion. Watch that pellet, watch that bullet, you know, as it travels through the air. So, but because that needs more light, we'll just keep it on 4K. It'll keep things brighter. So, but you can see the crosshairs there, how that works. Now I'll talk about setup with you for the GoPro. How we're gonna set this up is you'll actually have it on your scope like so. You're going to want to first set your gun up on a tripod, on a bipod with a sandbag, whatever super sturdy outside preferably. And you're gonna to wanna to focus in on something about 40 to 50 yards away. You're gonna adjust the parallax to your eye 
so the scope is clear, everything's good to go. Next up, you'll take the GoPro and you're gonna slide it in and out. You put it in here. You can connect this to your phone. You can connect it to a iPad and you can have it right here so you can see how clear things are. How this works, when you get your GoPro, it'll generally be set up pretty dang close, but everybody's eye is different. The eye relief is different on scopes. There's a lot of different variables. So that's why we have the adjustability here. If your lens, when, when you're looking through the LCD screen here in the back, if the crosshair is blurry, but the image is clear, you need to continue to rotate the lens clockwise to the right. And if you go too far to the right, the crosshair will be nice and crisp, but the image will be blurry. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to look down range at our target and get the image that we're looking at nice and clear and the crosshair is just as clear. Once we've accomplished that, we lock everything down with that ring and we don't touch the GoPro again. Now we can do everything from our scope. We can just adjust the parallax, okay? So again, to repeat that, if your crosshair is blurry and the image is pretty clear, it means you need to rotate clockwise and that will crisp up the crosshairs. And so what I'll do when I do that is, I, is I'll put it in here, I'll look at it, and then I'll pull it back out and then I'll check again. I'll put it back in, pull it back out and check and make those little micro adjustments. Now if the crosshairs are crisp and the image is blurry, you've rotated too far to the right clockwise, you need to go counterclockwise just a little bit and I'll just move it like just, just little bits like this. You know, if, if I'm really, really close. And then before I tighten it down, I'll loosen it just a little bit. I'll take, I'll take like an Allen wrench and I'll lock this ring. And then the last part of locking it, I just twist the lens and it locks it down, right? So I bring it back counterclockwise just a little bit further than, than what's necessary. Lock the ring and then tighten this down into it so it doesn't move. Once you've done that, you're You'll be able to have your GoPro in the side shot. You'll be able to just focus in on something with the parallax and that'll focus the GoPro itself. Once I've done this, I typically double check. I'll pick out a target maybe 80, 90 yards away and I'll focus in the parallax and then I'll look on the GoPro to make sure that it is crisp at that yardage, right? And then that's how I know I've done it right. If it's if something's too blurry, like the image is, too clear or, or blurry and the crosshairs are still clear, you need to change things just a little bit um, in your lens. One other adjustment that you'll have is right here on the ocular lens side to fine tune it. So if you've got it pretty dang close, you can also take the ocular lens and just fine tune here to get it a little bit crisper. One other thing, the side shot system doesn't have to be right up against the scope and locked down. It doesn't have to be there. Some guys will run it back here if you've got a lot of eye relief in your scope, you can run it back here and lock it down like this. If there's a gap between here, it's okay. We made the rods long enough that you have some adjustability of where to where to set it up. But that's, that's basically how to set up the system. Once you've got your lens set up, it's set up to your scope, you're ready to go. And then, like I said, you can take this off and you can put it on another gun and you can go ahead and film and record. All right, guys, now that we've shown you how to set up the system on your gun, and again, this isn't just for air guns, this is firearms, everything, right? You can set it up on. We're going to head, go ahead and head outside, set this gun up on a tripod, and show you what it looks like outside. We'll hopefully get some video on the GoPro, um, show you what, what it looks like when you're focusing on something and the crispness of it. So now we're outside. I'm going to show you how to set this up on your gun. So you've, you basically turn on the GoPro. It's ready to roll. We've got the scope clamp mounted onto the rifle and we've got it adjusted up and down this way so that the crosshairs are level. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach the GoPro to the, your, your gun and we're gonna check it out. We're gonna turn it on and I'm gonna unlock it and take this off so you guys can see what we're doing here. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and press record so we can see the whole process. But as you're looking, you see those tree branches 60, 70 yards away? Look how blurry the, the, the target is Look how blurry the crosshairs are. It's clear in the scope, but it's blurry on the GoPro. So we need to adjust this lens for our scope. And it's really simple to do. We're gonna take this off. We're gonna go ahead and, and uh, take this out. And all we're gonna do is this little locking ring, we're gonna unlock it. And then we're gonna 
twist this clockwise, the lens, to crisp up everything. And we don't have to stick it all the way back in, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look there. Man, that looks pretty dang good. Um, I might check a little bit more. I'll twist to the right and see what we got here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back a little bit. Okay, so the crosshairs, crosshairs are just out of focus right there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just do micro adjustments. They are crisp right there. And so is the subject. So if you look, you can see the subject and the GoPro uh, crosshairs on that scope are nice and crisp. Everything's super, super, super clear. Now, what we can do is we can check something else. We'll come closer into this. So say like the shed right here. And we'll go ahead and focus it right here on the edge. We'll get the roof. So we'll go down and then come in. See how crisp and clear that roof is and those crosshairs. So now that we've got it adjusted to this scope for this gun, all we have to use is our parallax adjustment to record things. So it's as simple as putting the GoPro on, pressing record, adjusting your parallax, and then everything will be crisp and clear video footage. All right, guys, again, I'm Thane Simmons from Sideshot from Saber Tactical. Hopefully we've answered all your questions today. Uh, if you have any other questions, be sure to subscribe to the Utah Air Guns YouTube channel. And like I said, check out their content. Um, we're always trying to provide you with best quality video that we can. Um, any questions we can answer there. Uh, and that's it. Good to be with you.